Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to connect this Wi-Fi Burbos camera to a network. This is the second generation waterproof Burbos camera. The waterproof is very important for any Burbos camera. You can reference my another video why waterproof is so important. This is camera doesn't rely on the internet accessing. So even there's no internet accessing from your house, you still can access the camera using the mobile phone table lab when you stay inside the house. Okay, now let's get started. The first method is connect the Wi-Fi bird box camera to Wi-Fi router. This is the most straightforward solution. But there's a tricky thing, you need to make sure the Wi-Fi signal is strong around the bird house. If the Wi-Fi signal is not strong, you're experiencing the choppy video. You may know the Wi-Fi coverage inside of your house, but you may never test the Wi-Fi signal outside. There's a simple way to verify the Wi-Fi coverage around the bird house. You just need to bring the mobile phone, go to the Wi-Fi bird house setup spot, then check the Wi-Fi signal on your mobile phone. If the Wi-Fi signal is showing strong, then you can try to connect the camera to your Wi-Fi router directly. The connection is quite simple. You just need to go to the app. From here, choose the Wi-Fi camera. Please input wireless router password. Click OK. This is the SSID and password of my router. Now I need to click Confirm and Next. Network is connected. This is the QR Please code containing the Wi-Fi password. Next, I will point the camera to read the QR code so the camera can be on light with my Wi Fi router. Network connection success. Please set the login password. Now the camera is connecting to the Wi Fi and the app asks me to save new password to the camera. I'm not going to save any password in case I, I will forgot the password, so I will click close the app and log into the app. Now I'm seeing the camera. This is the camera. Okay, it's pretty simple. There's one thing you may wonder if there's no Ethernet accessing from the Wi Fi router, can it still work? Yes, not like other cameras which require the cloud connection. This camera can work with the Wi Fi router directly, so even there's no Internet accessing going to this Wi Fi router, the whole system still will work. The second method is use this long range wireless Burbox camera. It also uses the Wi-Fi technology, but it's different from the regular Wi-Fi. So we cannot mix up this camera receiver with the regular Wi-Fi camera. The connection is more easier. First, let's just pop the camera. The camera also needs the power. This is the antenna linking to the camera. Now let's move to the receiver. We need to pop the receiver. Use this short punch code to link the receiver to the router. Now let's move to the app. Still click the app button. Then click the device in the lens. So the app will find the camera in the local network. Now let's move to the camera. Camera's live now. Let's move the camera a little bit. Yes, this is the camera. If you take a close look at this solution, the whole system never uses our own Wi-Fi. The connection between the receiver and the router actually is the cable. So even this is there's no Wi-Fi in your home, we still can connect the camera to the network. This is the beautiful thing. Also, because this using the property Wi-Fi technology it can receive about three times distance than the regular Wi-Fi. You can place the receiver just next to a router and put the camera in the garden, That's, that will be fine. The last matter is, people probably don't know, actually we also can connect the Wi-Fi camera to the Wi-Fi hotspot from the mobile phone. In each of the mobile phone, that like is iPhone, we can turn on the hotspot and share the mobile data just providing the Wi-Fi from this mobile phone, then connect the camera to this mobile phone. This is a quite weird solution, but sometimes if you just want to live stream the camera for a short time, like several hours, then you can use this method. Just connect the Wi-Fi camera to the mobile phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. Then you can access the camera remotely. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, 
please post in the comment section below. See you next time.